Hello everybody and welcome back here to the channel. My M4 is sitting at the grid of Riga. We're here on VDC 2022 track and it's definitely a fun track. We're going to be doing something a little bit different. So a lot of people when it comes to competing use roof camp. First person, sometimes third. So we're going to go through all three of those videos today running this track and I want you guys to pick what your poison is because you know some people when they're in competitive aspect want to run that roof cam for tandems you know for close tandems but i mean when you're chilling with the boys just having a drift session or ladies because ladies drift too maybe third person is your poison that you pick because you can see how close you are in that five six seven stack man train you know with who's tight on your door so we're gonna be going through all those today and you're gonna pick your poison down in the comments because i'm very curious you know from a competitive aspect you know how you run because i know personally i prefer running first person or vr because it's great practice for irl stuff but sometimes when i'm just chilling and tandeming with the boys i want to just be in third so i can see how close somebody is tucked to my door so make sure you guys follow me on all social media all is found in the description box below let's get to it so for that first initial drive we're going to drive this car in third person here on the track so i do like driving third person sometimes and it's a lot of fun to drive third person for a video aspect but as well as being able to see somebody close to me when i'm in you know tandem with in a drift train stuff like that so we're gonna take on this vdc 2022 track and see what we can do throw it in Fresh the car out. All the bags and pops from this M4. Popped in a third. Oh, a little flock going into the wall, but part just assaulting the red line. Oh, it's so much fun just to bang off red line. Now we are gonna go take a look at say the box camera version of these first and roof cam views because you know they don't have uh good replay cameras right now for this track not sure why but so the next view that we are of course gonna rock is that first version view and you know this is the view that everybody says you need to drive in if you want to do good practice and stuff like that we're actually gonna get some freshies on the tires so we have the same base as what we did for that other run this car just sounds so good you know strung out at full bore just banging off you know cracking off and all that anti-lag systems and everything just banging so let's go full send all the flames belching out the front of this car Gonna run this as wide as I can. Third gear change. Almost over rotating there. We are way shallow on that wall. Almost over rotated it going into that section. Um, one thing I'm definitely still getting used to is the weight of this car. Uh, I was talking to Addy. We're gonna be doing some physics changes on this car because of the longer wheelbase and stuff. We're gonna be working with him and trying to get a good solid, you know physics base and suspension you know weight distribution and everything that we can on this car to make it uh, a little bit manageable when it comes to some of the transitions because some of the transitions are a bit tricky in this car so we're going to go to the view that most people run when it comes to a competitive aspect and that is roof cam now this is very big personal preference when it comes to what setting you're going to want to run and what pitch and everything like that so I'm actually going to go to a basic one that I feel is close to what I think I would like to run because some people run them really high it's almost like a third person aspect so that's one thing of just fine-tuning it and figuring out what you like so we're gonna run this right here so let's go full send oh and then of course we'll take a look at the replays of these two runs from the outside so we can see where we were actually on track in that first person because 
I think I was about a car linked off that wall, but we were pretty good on those clips, so. Now I know for a competitive edge, a lot of people run this view because you can see where you are when it comes to the chase. We may have tapped the grass. Oh, we over-rotated that a little bit. That's a curve hop. Oh, I believe we were right on the wall on the exit of that. So I want to do another full run in this view because I feel like we could have done way better. Uh, the transition was a little bit sloppy on. I wasn't expecting the car to rotate as fast, but that's just going from all these different views. You know, you have to reacclimate yourself and fine tuning the roof cam view is definitely something that is very big personal preference. I asked Addy, I asked Profit and a couple other people and everybody's is different. So it's something that you're going to have to find your best bet for yourself. Now this is going to be on hot tires, so I'm going to be changing a little bit of it. That's a curve hit. Or a cone hit. Throw it in. That's a grass touch. And that's up on the curb. Third gear drop. Oh, coming off a little wall tap at the end. So we're going to take a look at the box cam of these runs because they're pretty spicy if I do say so myself. So we're gonna go into box camera, activate box cam. So the first run, well, we knew because we were in third. We we're able to get the car all the way out. Like I said, Andy and I are definitely going to be trying to get this dialed. A little bit of a bobble through that last part, so now we're going to take a look at the second run. So this was the run that we were in first person on. I'm going to lower the audio a little bit so we don't pop your eardrums. This was the first person view run. We did get all the way out. A little bit wide there. Surprisingly, we didn't go up on the curb. Yep, like I thought. About a car length off the wall. This car, the, the way this car sounds is just so entertaining to me. I just love how this car sounds. So this was the roof cam. First attempt at roof cam run. So we're gonna see kind of where we are on this one. Cause I think we were really close to the wall. Bit of an aggressive entry. Yeah, we missed it. That was a hard flick that I thought I was gonna over rotate on. towards the end we were deep in that wall dragging wing through that wall on that second one pretty saucy run if i do say so myself so if you guys are enjoying this pro car content let me know down in the comment section down below tap that sub button i do appreciate all the support tap at the end so overall not too shabby of runs so we're gonna run one final time in third person just because i want to just hear this car rip but if you guys keep enjoying this you guys want to see more of this let me know down in the comment section down below because i do appreciate all the comments and i do take people's comments to heart 
and sometimes unless you're being a jerk then you know that's just you being a jerk so pick your poison let me know down in the comments when you think you like to run third person or first person and all of that in a competitive aspect or things of that nature this car is so good it's only gonna get better All the bangs and pops, so that's gonna do it here for this episode here on Asceta Corsa. I hope you guys enjoyed this content with the M4, a little 360 for style. More content with this car coming, this gear burner. And like I said, Eddie and I are gonna be working to get this physics dialed in for sure. So make sure you follow me on all social media, and as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Eva Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.